Previously on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! Garcias! Oh, you, you... You shook my goddamn guts out! Conrad? What? He got the guts to kill another man? No. You're not a man. You're nothing. Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. <sighs> Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I needed that. I'd hold it there, folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe, not tuck your tail and run. This is not over, Joan. I have friends here, allies. Strike one. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh, yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey, man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man! Thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. <laughs> Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. Hope you like it. Oh, yeah! I might get ten bucks for this! You gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. Well, it's out of here! Holy cow! You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. Son of a bitch. Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Jeez, you gotta learn to relax, David. What do you suggest? Put some money on it? You know I don't do that anymore. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. Well... Thanks for bringing me anyway. 
I needed the distraction. Ooh, Garcia's on fire! I think your ego's boosted plenty. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Ow! Fuck! You gotta shut up! Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. <sighs> Maybe it's time I said goodbye. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Oh my god, the crowd is going wild! I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. David... David, what's wrong? Come back! I came here to reconnect. Instead, you just want to show me up. What's going on? David, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You've always been looking out for yourself. I'm just... I'm just sick of your attitude, David. You love to mock me. But you have no idea what I deal with. My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Ah, you know what? Yeah, do what you need to do. The army could be good for you. I was expecting more of an argument. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. <sighs> My mom and dad will worry themselves sick. You didn't see how stressed they got last time you deployed. Life's hard for everybody, Javi. Except you. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. I'll be there for them. Since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. About time you grew up. Come on. I want to get out of here now. Get in there. I let you go. On the road, remember? Can't you help us now? Of course I remember. It's why I haven't shot you already. That's how I'm helping you. Joan's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you tried to attack her. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell and them... And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this, but you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. I'll... I'll see what I can do. What, you're gonna choose that witch over me now? Better start leaning on your brother, Javi. He needs to get with the program. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. I brought you in. After I saved your asses. This is how you treat me. Betrayal. Lies. It was too risky to stay. I was trying to keep Kate safe. I had a plan for that. You fucked it up. Do you see what Joan's doing? This is a power grab. Pure and simple. I could have found a way to protect all of you. But now? Now you're all on your own. You gotta still have some friends here, right? She managed to flip Clint and Lingard to her side somehow. Without them, it's hopeless. It's everyone out for themselves these days. Joan played you. And that sucks. I get it. 
but now you've got to stop sulking and decide what you're going to do about it. I already had a plan and you ignored it. I did the best I could. Can't say I never tried. I have always given 100%. Oh yeah? Tell that to Kate. You left her behind once already. Maybe it's time you try a different way. Shut up! <sighs> you're dead to me. If we get out of here, you're on your own. I'm through with you. This is really what you want to be doing right now? Seriously? That's fine with me. You always wore a fucking pussy. Typical brothers. Fighting like boys. You bitch. I fucking trusted you! Careful! Don't give him a concussion. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion. Between us. You've got the guns. You set the terms. I'm glad you're willing to work with me. It's sad how we ended up here. But Clinton Lingard agree. You've become a problem. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. David deserves a fair shot. He doesn't need to be replaced. If he was as good as you say, he wouldn't be in this position, would he? You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. Bullshit! I understand you're angry with me, but let's talk about it in private. Bring him with us. Screw this. Gotta get out of here. useful here. Could squeeze through there. I wasn't sure how I was going to find you. Then I heard the glass breaking. You're alive. For now, you escaped the guards. Barely. We gotta get you out of here. Take this. Help me pry these bars off. <clears throat> Shit. Give it a push from your side. Thanks, Kate. Now, give me a hand.
What's all that noise? It's a herd. They've got this place surrounded. Come on. This way. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. Gabe's there with the others. We've been hiding out there. For as long as we can, anyway. Thank God for Eleanor. She's a lifesaver. Literally. We all owe her. We should probably keep moving. Where are the patrols? Oh, they're around. I had some close calls on my way to find you. Almost got caught. But I got lucky. You must be feeling better if you're sneaking around like this. I'm not, really. But I'll get my rest when we're safe. All clear. Come on. I saw them take David from the quarantine building. Yeah. How's he doing? I can't be his wife anymore. But he doesn't deserve to be locked away. I didn't tell him anything about how you feel. He's going to figure it out eventually. Maybe. But he's busy with more important things right now. Hold up. I think it's clear. Let's move. Okay, lead the way. They're gonna be looking for you soon. It's only a matter of time before they find the room empty. They can keep looking. Because we're gonna be out of Richmond soon. Not soon enough. That's Eleanor's place. There's a lot of activity all of a sudden. I don't like this. Come on. Let's get inside.
think we should be a thing? I'm sorry. I don't know if I feel like that. That way. Hey, buddy. It's good to see you, Avi. Really? Your goofy face and everything. It's great to see you, Gabe. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Yeah, well, things have changed. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. They've escalated past their same old usual argument. Never heard it this bad. That's some rough shit right there. I'm gonna try to get some shut eye. I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, <clears throat> where have you been? Joan threw me and David in jail, if you can believe it. Great. So you gave these people more reason to hate us. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. We just can't trust Joan. She's trying to remove David from power by pinning murders on him. Told you we couldn't trust him. I want to go save my dad. Right now. He needs our help. We need a plan first. Javi. Make sure it's the way to go. Good. The last time you scrapped the plan and got yourself caught. Fair enough. So we gotta make sure we don't screw this up. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Oh. Holy shit. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Wow. As much as I don't want to be here... You sure are glad we didn't stumble into that on our own? <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. Can you imagine? We dodged a bullet, didn't we? Yeah. I think we got luckier than I even want to think about right now. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. He's my brother, Kate. I have to. Okay. We have to rescue David. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. I can take us. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just, I don't know what to do. Just follow your heart. That's all any of us have left anymore, right? Thanks, man. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on! Good luck. Stay alert. Be careful. You'll be fine. Okay. This'll be great. We got this. Slow down, buddy. I've done this before, Avi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, 
You make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? What do you mean, Avi? Not everybody in New Richmond is bad. Some of them can be trusted. Seems like it's hard to know who to trust. It's not easy. Even your father got fooled. How do we know if we can trust him? We can't. But that doesn't mean we can just kill him. Okay. We don't want to make any noise and attract any attention. Hey, I can go talk to him while you sneak inside. I'll distract him. You won't do anything to me. I'll tell him I saw something suspicious. That's a risk. I don't probably trust you because you're David's son, but I don't... Right. I, I can do this. Gabe, wait! Hey! Oh, hey. I saw something. Show me. wasn't so risky. That wasn't what I wanted you to do. Whatever. It was no big deal. It's down here. The guns are through that door. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle-nephew one-two punch. Yeah, we do. Drop it! What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing with all that? Trying to help. I know you're pissed at me, but I want to do the right thing. For your brother. For him, for the rest of my family, for everyone. Yeah. It was a shit thing to do, fucking off on me like that. I know. I... Why didn't you meet me at the stronghold? We had a plan. 
I was just trying to keep Kate safe. That was the only thing I was thinking about. Fair enough. I get that. But why should I trust you now? As far as I can tell, you're nothing but trouble. David would want you to. He needs fighters. We're his only hope. You're right. He doesn't have anyone else left in his corner. Your heart's in the right place, I'll give you that. Okay. You know I'm in. And it looks like you could use all the help you can get. Awesome. I gotta grab something else real quick. Meet me by the front at five. Okay. sure? I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We have to get back to the others. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody ah. sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Oh, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Thought you'd be long gone by now. So did I. But I still need to talk about AJ with Lingard. Look at him. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. All right. Go for it. But if I lose my arm, that's on you. Ha ha. You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... 
I just don't understand. It means you're growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it, it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! Wow, that guy is really out of it. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Cody? Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. No thanks. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Here we go. Just pills. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. Help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. Think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Even Ava would have to admit I was a good mom to AJ. Who's there? All right, all right. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. You have to give AJ back, please. He needs me. I need him. That's just not gonna happen, Clem. Look, it's not much, but here.
David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... <sighs> this... Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. I can make it on my own, just like I always have. I don't need anybody else. I don't blame you. Just don't overestimate what you're actually capable of. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. I know you said you'd get by on your own, but if you find yourself needing supplies, or just someone to talk to. There's an old airfield, about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. Nice work. Thanks. Just glad I could help. You coming? I... Still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotting in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. Clem can be the judge of that. She doesn't need to be. As a doctor, I'm telling you, He's in better shape now than when I first saw him. At least I never gave up on him. I'm sure as hell not gonna start now. 
I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. Javi, I have to know. I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <clears throat> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ, just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How could you? So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Jones rounding up all alleged traitors. You better hope she doesn't find you. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah. Right back at you. You all good? Yeah. We're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. Javi! You're back! And... Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. Oh She's... yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. Conrad? Nah, I'm, I'm cool. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's got to be a stressful job, looking after an entire community. The guy's clearly an addict. He was destroyed when we got there. It would be sad if it wasn't so reckless. It's pathetic is what it is. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones' people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. 
all of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just because they like you doesn't mean they're going to like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot, that's for damn sure. We have to help my dad. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. If there are good people left in Richmond who are against what Joan's doing, we need to ask for their help. If we can talk to the people at the trial, present the case to everyone in Richmond, we might not have to do this on our own. We light the match. The people do the rest. After we take Joan out, we're going to need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but... It's way better than nothing. People are going to be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. I thought you guys were going to be careful out there. Hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor. Can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. No way anybody is dying. Not today. That's why we have to take the time to talk it through. So everybody comes out okay. Nobody here is going to let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Before you all make any decisions about who's coming and who's staying and who's going to do what, I just wanted to say, I'm sitting this one out. What are you talking about, Conrad? I'm sorry about David. I am. I just don't particularly care what happens to the folks here in Richmond. It's not my community. Not my problem. I got what I came here for. That's not the kind of man I want to be. There are good people living here, Conrad. There are people who need our help. You're really just going to walk out on them now? Not saying I'll be gone forever. But I just can't go along with this. I'm going to get some things together and find some place to wait out the herd. I'll attract less attention if I'm by myself. Conrad. Man. Hey, no goodbyes. I'll see you on the other side, brother. I'll see you. Okay, so you want to dive bomb Joan and save the day. Do we have to leave? 
This place is comfortable. Hell yeah, we're out of here. A handful of people against everyone out there. Everything out there. That's doable. Probably. We can do this. I know we can. We've got the guns, we've got a plan, and soon we're gonna have that truck. So let's get started. Hell, I'm still in. I promised David I'd always have his back. Let's do it. Without Conrad, you guys need me. And you know it. Sure as hell seems that way. Me, Clem, Kate, and Gabe will go after the car. Me and Eleanor, we'll get some supplies together. Here, take a walkie. I'll let everyone know when things kick off. Ava, you take the other one and keep checking in. No matter what. I'll get my stuff and meet you at the square. Okay. Let's move out. me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. Let's go. I think I should go with you, actually. That wasn't the plan, Gabe. Actually, I was kind of hoping you'd be willing to watch my back on this one. Don't want to get surprised while I'm out there. Yeah. Okay. I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. What's up? Listen. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but if we don't work together as a team, we all fail. You don't have to say anything. I get it. I shouldn't have freaked out. I was sick of being pushed aside. I hope you can trust me again. I'll do whatever you need me to do. But Javi? Yeah? Quit treating me like a kid. truck apart in seconds. Hmm. This thing looks like it moves too slow for an escape. What's going on? Just doing what I can. Let's keep looking for that truck. You got it. Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. There it is. Let's go. I'd say about 50-50. Smart ass. They say how long it's gonna take for them to finish up here. People keep getting pushed up on the front. They're much behind. Hell 
Hell yeah. This graveyard shift is killing me. Oh, let me get some that. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Ready. Ready. Or the wind chill factor starts. Remember that wind chill factor? I used to put the Turns out you needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. I'm glad you were here, okay? At least you can admit it. Yeah. Well, it turns out you're pretty useful when you actually follow directions. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? Almost there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. Wire cutter should help with this. battery to the ignition. Let there be light. The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up.
Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really takes you back, doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. You're right. This is nice. If I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He like likes her. You get it? I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. Think their first official date will be target practice? Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Ah, uh, young love. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet. But to feel something that intensely for another person? Is it bad if I kind of envy them? Those early days. Before you get up the courage to say exactly what's on your mind. You never get those back, do you? No. No, you don't. It's unfair. That's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and... When that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish... He could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. They deserved better than this. That's why we're doing this thing, right? So he can have a better life after everything's said and done? You're right. I know you're right. I hope you know, Javi, having you there with me, right by my side, all this time... That's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. But you didn't. I think that's just you know, who I am, you know? Uh, who I am now, at least. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. <laughs> but before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get crazy. We might not get another chance. <laughs> Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really. So are we gonna... Okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I just want to be able to tell him in person. It'll feel better that way. That would be the stand-up thing to do in this situation. Can I just say how lame doing the stand-up thing is, though? Oh, it's super lame. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. we got to get over there. Now.
going to hang back here with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Good luck. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I hate not knowing. We can't get distracted. I don't know what happened on the other side, but it doesn't change what we have to do. I just wish we had a little more information, that's all. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? We just have to remember, not everyone in Richmond is a bad person. You're right. We're not trying to hurt anyone out there. At least not anyone who's on our side. For the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in... lying to all of you! I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered this man in cold blood. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless, this cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She's going to kill him. She can't do this to him. Try to keep you cool. Joan's smart. But we're smarter. We just have to be careful. We can't screw this up, Javi. Javier! I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Happy to. Been waiting for this all day. Then I'll try not to disappoint you. Very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? That's... that's right. She said you were coming here to rally the people against me. Convince them that I was no good for Richmond. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. If you knew what we were coming here to do, why go ahead with this? Why put a noose around my brother's neck? This community deserves justice, and they're going to get it, one way or the other. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh, no. They had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm going to do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Joan! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. If you're going to punish anyone, it should be me, not them. So ready to sacrifice yourself for others. Don't worry, Javi. I'm not through with you yet. 
Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? <gasps> Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend or your brother's lieutenant? Oh, come on! This is fucking stupid! You can't be serious. God damn you, Joe. Do the right thing, Javi. How could you do this? Trip has to live. He's invaluable. Son of a bitch. Javi, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're not making David happy. But I respect you for sticking up for your own people. Shoot it. Wait! I said Trip should live! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. You can't do this! Fucking figures. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. You can't... No! No! <laughs> Oh my god, they really shot him. Oh, god damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No! Think about this, Javi. You know what's gonna happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody, put your guns away. We're going to handle this peacefully. Ah. Don't listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch. Take her out. She deserves it. If you don't do it, I fucking will. Go to hell, Joan. Whoa. 
Well, this is a hell of a situation, isn't it? Don't look so surprised, okay? Conrad! You have no fucking idea how glad I am to see you. Yeah, yeah, don't get all mushy on me. I really was headed out, but something made me turn back. Good thing I did, huh? It's Kate! She's coming for us! Oh, God! Javi, you've got to get over there before...